Okay, so this is actually really funny um, based on what we're just talking about because our mudra tonight is fluidity. <laughs> so yeah, so going with the flow. So um, our mudra is gonna be left hand down. So just like this, and we're gonna stack the right hand on top. So it's gonna look, well, it's backwards because it's the camera, but left hand flat, right hand flat on top, and thumbs out to the side. Fingers on top of each other. Yeah. And then we'll just sit. So we'll sit, connect with our breath, with our mudra. And it's been hot, really hot. So we are going to just bring in that water element tonight. So some fluidity, some flow. Left hand down, right hand stacked on top. And let's bring it just in front of the navel or a little bit down, right in front of that sacral chakra, the Svadasthana chakra, that water element center. Connect with our breath. We can bring it out in front if that's gently on the wrist too. Let's just connect with our breath. Next week. Just breathing through the fingertips to the heart space. Breathing in, fluidity and flow into our day. Breathing in, fluidity and flow. We ground through the sits bones, ground through the ankles, ground through the heels. Just invite some flow into the body. Whether it's riding the wave of the breath or just riding the gentle sway in the body. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release the mudra and just maybe place the hands on the thighs, palms up. Maybe visualize flow and fluidity in your life, in your day. Exhale, sigh, ground a little more into the earth. Exhale, out the mouth. Let's inhale, come to stand. Coming out of our seat, rising up to stand. And anywhere on your mat that you want to stand, if you want to stand at the front, if you want to stand in the middle, we'll ground through our feet, roll our shoulders back, and stack the shoulders. Then as we stand, let's just visualize a waterfall. Maybe you're standing back and you're looking at it straight on, or you're standing at the top and watching it cascade down. Now let's just imagine that we are that waterfall. And we're just going to flow like water. So we'll reach up to the sky, we'll inhale. And exhale, we'll fold forward. Maybe it's a rushing, gushing waterfall. Maybe it's a steady, gentle, trickling waterfall. But find your way to a fold. Bend the knees, let's rise up. Now be that waterfall as you exhale, fold. And sigh into this fold. Bend the knees, let's rise up. Bring the hands to the heart space. 
you know, thinking about your day that you just had, or maybe the week, has it felt like a cascading, quick, forceful waterfall, or has it felt like a gentle trickle or a slow waterfall? Whatever your energy has felt like, whether it's been forceful and quick or slow and gentle, invite the opposite into your space and be that opposite as we inhale, lift the hands, and then exhale, fold and flow like that opposite waterfall to balance our energy. Bend the knees, float the palms up to sky. Offer that balance as we exhale, fold. One more time, bend the knees, rise all the way up to the top. Really good job. And then exhale, fold forward, and let's hang at the bottom. Side, let the hands be heavy, let the elbows be heavy, let the shoulders be heavy. Grab opposite elbows with these sway side to side. <sighs> Now let's release the hands. Let's bring our feet really, really wide for a widely good fold. Keep that head down, ground into the earth with the feet wide apart. Let the hips float forward. As if you're coming out of the balls of the feet, maybe the heels lift. Exhale, bring the heels down, bend the knees, let's rise up. Good job. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward again. Wide legged fold. We're noticing the energy in the arms, the sensation as we fold forward and down. Coming on the balls of the feet, maybe the heels lift, the hands from ground onto a block of the floor. Lift the heels. Then exhale, bring those heels down, bend the knees. Let's rise all the way to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Step our feet together. Stand tall, stand strong. Now imagine that you're that waterfall just standing. And feel this waterfall. Just cascade into the water below, and then maybe you find stillness in the water below, and you're like a still mountain lake. Maybe you're bubbling, and it's a busy little water basin. Or just bring it the opposite. If you've had a busy week, be that still lake. Had a little bit of dullness, be that bubbling basin. And just feel that in your being. Offer the balance. Embody this water element. Let's exhale, come into our mudra and again with the left palm down, the right hand on top of the left. We'll stand here, breathe in a few breaths. Thumbs out to the side, hands on the top of the left. Feel the fluidity and the flow. Let's inhale. Exhale, release the mudra, and let's come all the way to the earth. Maybe finding a blanket, if you need another blanket on the floor for a little bit of softness. And then let's go straight to our bolster. So finding that bolster, finding a couple blocks. Maybe you don't have a bolster, but you have a cushion or two. So we'll bring the bolster behind, or the blocks, excuse me, behind the bolster. Bring that bolster down. And now we're going to be this waterfall. So we're going to sit with our seat towards the bottom of the bolster, and we're going to bring our back down. And now maybe our legs are straight out. Maybe with that kind of a symbol of maybe just that still basin at the bottom. 
Maybe you want to bring some energy in a little bubbling basin. You can bring the feet to the floor, the knees together. Just let that be kind of that symbol for you for what you're invoking to draw into your space. Whether you're trying to draw in some energy and nourishment, that stamina for the practice. If you want to ground and find that calm, you can extend those legs on. Rest. It's always a great idea to maybe place some pillows under the arms. And just notice if that removes a little bit more effort, offering as little effort into this pose we can. Rest. And then maybe visualizing yourself as if you were lying on the shore somewhere. And resting on that shore, just notice the sounds of the waves. You notice the smell of the wet sand, maybe the smell of the ocean. the smell of the hot sand, or maybe the sand is cold, but smell the sand. And your next exhale, sink into that sand. And the next inhale, just notice that water, the tide, as it rolls up and just brushes the heels of your feet or the tips of your toes. And the exhale goes back out. Inhale, the water. Laps up against your feet. Exhale, sweeps back down. And let that wave follow the breath. As we invite fluidity and flow into our energy. Maybe notice if the rays of the sun are warming your body or if the moonbeams are reflecting off the water. And just be in this place of rest, of renewal, and of fluidity.
Inhale, the waves flow in. Exhale, they float away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Letting silence be our teacher. Letting silence reveal unknowns. Letting silence offer comfort as we rest. If thoughts come in, just gently dismiss them and redirect your awareness to the tide rolling in and rolling out. Just rolling in, rolling out. Come in here. And one more deep in breath. Feel that wave we flow over your feet this time. Exhale, the foam sticks to the feet. Let it go inside. One more breath in. Exhale, sigh. Now gently bend the knees if they're not bent already. Then roll over to one side so you can come into just a gentle seat. Find that bolster. We're going to bring it out in front. 
and bring our feet as wide apart as is comfortable. Even bring them together a little bit. And then with that bolster, just rest it so you can press that forehead into the bolster. And if you're chilly or cool, place a blanket over your shoulders, drape it over your back. And then rest that forehead on the bolster. And rest the arms on the pillow, on the legs. Putting as much support as we need to really sink into this gentle forward fold. Offering some quiet to our nervous system. And now just imagine that waterfall cascading from the head down the back. Nourishing every part of your being. Maybe it's a rushing force or waterfall to sweep away any dullness or stagnation. Maybe it's a gentle trickle to calm, nourish, and offer relaxation. So let it be so. Soften the hands, soften the feet, soften the legs, soften the face. Side to side. Softening the stomach, allowing the entire torso to relax.
this waterfall cascades down the back, just drawing in whatever you need, and letting everything else just cascade down and float down the stream. Allow yourself to go deep inside and find the answer to that question, who am I? Let's go inside, it's right there. Just let it be so. For a deep in breath to fill the lungs. Exhale. Another deep, deep in breath. Exhale, sigh. As you breathe in deeply, just don't strain, just offer effortlessness in the expansion. And then sigh it out. And then let's gently, without any rush, just kind of hold the bolster so we can lift our head up slowly, bringing the heart and the shoulders back over the hips. Pause for a breath or two, just seated. Exhale, let's find Shavasana. So if that means a bolster under the knees, a pillow under the head, offer that to yourself. And now let's imagine that we're that water at the base of that waterfall. Find some stillness. Or if you need some activity, allow this resting pose to draw in the energy from that water. And exhale, rest. Imagine yourself lying on a floaty. And just feel that buoyancy of the water below. The ease. Just float on the water. Bring your awareness deep inside of yourself. Relax the shoulders, relax the legs. Mm -hmm. 
Allow the heart, the entire body to hover and float. Allowing this element of water to draw up and out any emotions that might be hiding in our body, in our mind. Let's bring our awareness to our breath. And we'll invite in our dear gut breath, which is our three part breath. So, whenever you're ready, on an inhale, fill the stomach, then the chest, then the base of the throat. And exhale out the stomach and the chest falls and the upper chest fall. Inhale, the stomach rises and the chest and the upper chest, the base of the throat. Exhale, the stomach falls and the chest and the upper most of the chest. Like a wave, the stomach lifts and the chest. Exhale, the stomach falls and the chest. Inhale, the stomach rises and the chest. And exhale, the stomach and the chest falls and just sink into the floor. Let it all go. Scanning the body from toe to head, head to hand. From hands to head, head to toe. One more deep breath out. Let's gently roll over to one side and pause on our side.
and on your own time when you're ready. Just gently press up and you come to a seat. You are seated on Siddhasana or Sukhasana. Sit for a moment. Find our mudra with the left hand down, the right hand on top, thumbs up. Maybe like water, fluid, and flowing. Forceful and powerful, we need to be a gentle trickle at other times. Like a bubbly basin that's still quiet. Exhale, breathe out. Shanti, 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 Thank sure.